it's really quite interesting then um, listening to both Trish and Andrew in regard to their experience and where they come from. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much about the law. I'm going to talk to you more about um, what my role in the community is as a community liaison officer and dealing with the elderly in the community. And I have to be perfectly honest that I haven't seen a great deal of difference between our older drivers, our senior drivers and our pea platers. Two points. They make new ones every day. Second point is that they don't really consider the consequences of their actions. Now, had saying that, that's a bit deep and dark, but had saying that, I mean for a um, junior driver, they don't consider the fact that they've got inexperience. The elder drivers have a huge, really broad um, amount of experience, so therefore they feel quite superior in that area. Unfortunately, where they let themselves down is that they're so um, intimidated by the loss of their independence that that stops them from being open and forward in regard to some areas where they may be struggling. So when I speak to the different community groups that I do, and a lot of them, the majority of them are seniors groups, um, I always bring up in my, in my presentation about, you know, when is it time? And they go from a, you know, they're happy and laughing and I'm giving a few war stories about, you know, handbag security and a brick in a bag and all this type of thing. So they go from this really um, happy, jovial type mood to total silence and stoned faces when I say when is the time. And they're really intimidated by the fact that I'm wanting to speak to them about that because they think the police are the ones that take their licence away from them. So, had saying that, um, once I bring that topic up, and I actually say to them, look, you've all gone stone quiet. But I'm actually bringing this topic up because I'm giving you this opportunity today to talk to me about anything that you may be concerned about. And it's not because I'm going to take your licence off you, it's because I want to give you the opportunity to ask something that you may not be willing to ask your GP. And it's quite amazing, the questions start flying and they go back, they revert back to that junior year where they're putting their hand up and, and uh, really want to get involved and ask questions. And it's been quite good. Um, they actually leave feeling quite relieved and they want to know about the process and what happens when they do get called up for a driver review. Um, in regard to, um, from a op op police operational perspective, how a driver would come to our attention is quite often if they look quite, um, they, they do things a lot slower uh, because they're taking that extra time. Quite often that could be the danger on the road is that they are um, taking that um, just a oh, bit longer to make a decision. Uh, quite often I'll speak to my oldies about you know, if, if you've got some concerns about um, the traffic on the road and people are going too fast for you and you go to the supermarket, well, don't park in the supermarket car park. Park down the road and then walk into the shopping centre. You don't have to. You don't have to actually try to navigate your way through a car park. Um, and it's quite interesting. It, it, it really generates some really interesting conversation between them. Um, so operationally when they come to our attention it's usually because they've got a dent on every corner of the vehicle. And I, I want to actually share with you a bit of a war story is that um, Operation Safe Plate is um, a crime prevention project that I do in Ballarat and it's been quite successful and the oldies love it and they all want their cars done and their number plates secured with these one-way screws. Well, I don't know how many people here are familiar with the underground car park in Bunnings. Yeah? You know those big concrete steel... Yep. Yeah. I nearly got wedged one day between an older driver and a little laser and one of those concrete pillars. And it was the most scary experience in my whole life. But she will tell you that she is the best driver in the world. Every corner on that vehicle had a dent 
And when I actually, once her screws had been fitted to that vehicle, I pulled her aside because I wanted to have a conversation with her. I wanted to know more about what was going on. Not because I was going to take a licence off her, because I don't have that power, but it was because I wanted to consider, you know, the options for her. So pulling her aside, she was quite, you know, wouldn't, ha wouldn't hear it any other way. She was the best driver in the world. And I was trying to assess her, her seating position and she was so close to the wheel that meant her feet were so close to the pedals that she had no control over that vehicle. But she was so close because she couldn't see properly. Hence why I nearly ended up between the car and the pillar. Lucky I'm a bit of a groover and I got out of the way really quickly. So it's really quite frightening. But from that position, that's somebody, that's a classic example of how somebody's come to my attention. From that point, obviously, a, um, a form that we have on VP forms was filled in and she was put forward for a licence review. I don't know the outcome. I, don't, I doubt very much whether she's got to keep a licence. But um, there's a duty of care involved and it was my duty of care to make sure that that woman was reviewed and that her licence be reviewed. I don't know if everybody's aware or not, but there is a service in Ballarat called Direct to Care. Have you heard of them? Yeah. And they're a fantastic organisation that actually assist people if they need to go to medical um, appointments in Melbourne and so on. So Direct to Care. Um, now, Victoria Police Stats have actually shown us that, um, I think as you said, um, David, uh, Andrew, that 16% um, of last year's fatalities were drivers over the age of 70. I think I'm pretty much done, actually. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>